There was this advisor who, whenever the king would ask him questions about the affairs of his kingdom, the advisor would say, Fihi khair. It's all good. There's, there's only good in us. And obviously, the king, after some time, became a little bit frustrated with his advisor in that he's not actually giving me real advice. All he's telling me is, Fihi khair, Fihi khair. There's just good in it. There's good in us. And one day, the king goes out on a hunt with his, with his advisor, and he pulls back his bow, and, and there's an arrow on it, and the, and the arrow goes, goes wayward and cuts off his thumb. And so the king turned turn to his advisor for help, and his advisor says, Fi there, there's good in us. And this really upsets the, the king in, in the sense of, why isn't my advisor worried for me? Why isn't he helping me? Why isn't he, he coming to, to my aid and mending my thumb? And so the king decides, okay, I'm going to show him what, what's really good. So he goes back, and when, they get, and when they get back to the palace, when they get back to the fort, the king imprisons his, his advisor and says, okay, is there, any, is there any good now? And so the advisor says, there's good enough. And so the advisor is in prison and he's waiting. And a few months later, the king goes again off on a hunt. But this time, he's at the edge of his kingdom, and he's kidnapped by bandits. And these, uh, these bandits, they live in a, um, in a neighboring kingdom, and it's their habit to do human sacrifices. And so they capture the king, and they think, this will be an excellent sacrifice to our god. But then they look, and they examine the king, and they see that his thumb is missing. He's got, his, his, thumb, his thumb was, was cut off. And so, and so they, then they start thinking, well, this wouldn't be a good sacrifice for a king because he's not whole, he's not whole and pure. He has some defect because of his uh, missing limb. And, and so they, they let him go. And the king is amazed. And he realizes what the advisor knew. He realizes the wisdom of the advisor. And so he goes back and he tells and he lets the advisor out of prison, and he tells the advisor, you were right, there, there was good in it. If, if my thumb hadn't, uh, hadn't been severed, then I would have been taken as sacrificed by this, uh, by this neighboring tribe. And he says, okay, so now I understand what fi'i khair meant with regards to my injury when, our, uh, when, uh, when shooting archery. But explain to me what was, the, what was good in my imprisonment of you. And so the advisor said, if I hadn't imprisoned you, I would have been with you on the hunt. And instead of taking me as, as instead of taking you as sacrifice because they saw that you have an injury, then they would have taken me. And so it was good that I was imprisoned as well. And so this is the type of wisdom that comes from Fihi Khair. This is the way that Allah deals with people. He shows that he brings out the goodness in things where we're, where we're often inclined to see the unhappiness in things and the difficulty in things and oftentimes when we cannot see the benefits of things. And this is the attitude that Allah warns us about in the Quran when he says, وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِيَ الشَّكُورٌ And very few, very few of my servants are truly always grateful. Shakur.